In this video, I'm going to show you a new way to play defense in Madden 23 this year. Kind of off of the blitz meta, man meta, we're going to show you a zone defense that is really good. It's a bend but don't break defense. Really simple to run. We're going to show you two different ways to run it as well in this video. Um, guys, I love Big Nickel over G. I believe that Big Nickel over G is the most versatile defense in the game. And I've actually kind of been shifting back to uh, really enjoying this defense and kind of running it a little bit differently uh, than I used to be running it. Instead of using it as such a heavy pressure defense, I'm really more interested in this as a coverage defense. We're going to show you one coverage in this video uh, that I really like and we're gonna be able to do it out of two different plays uh, from this from this defense so um, you it, it's best to run this in my opinion out of big nickel um, but you can run this out of really any coverage or uh, any nickel set last year we ran this out of nickel 335 odd a lot um, but it's kind of like set up stock to work in big nickel so some people, when they use Big Nickel over G, they don't quite understand the adjustments. And if you think about Big Nickel over G, the formation, it's essentially the 4-2-5 uh, out of TCU where they have three safeties, right? They have a weak safety, they have a strong safety, and then they have a free safety, okay? So three safeties, and that's going to unlock certain adjustments that you can get in this that you can't get in any other uh, formation as it is. I mean, I think there's actually a couple of other formations that can get it, but this one right here is kind of the main one. And uh, again, if you want to get the Big Nickel over G ebook, everything's broken down in the Patreon. I also have a full match defensive coverage ebook where we explain the ins and outs of match defense and how to use that as well. And I'm kind of finding myself really enjoying going back to kind of a too high safety base look um, and really running some of the TCU defenses um, that, that I've, I've learned to really love. So with that in mind, let's take a look at this coverage defense. So you can run this uh, coverage defense from a couple different ones. I'm going to show you the base concept out of a cover two, but we'll show you another defense that I think is even better. So uh, we're going to come out in the play uh, da -da -da -da, cover two. And all we're going to do is basically the biggest issue with cover two is the sideline. So like if I run this as is, and if you know Bunch very well, you know that one of the things that they can do is they could just run four verticals and essentially uh, hit the wide side fade or wheel um, over the top. So as you see there, that was actually a bad example. I was th thought I was freeform and I ended up lowballing it. Uh, but let me show you real quick here. Let me show you real quick here this play again. So again, just four verticals, motion this guy outside. And you should see that he will beat this cover two, just like that. That's kind of one of the major holes of cover two. Cover two honestly really isn't that effective this year because of the just the way that I can easily attack the sidelines. Uh, so cover three, cover four to me are better coverages this year. And so we're going to show you uh, some simple adjustments. So in Big Nickel over G, you unlock these kind of unique adjustments um, that are basically this. We can put our safeties uh, to kind of help them go outside more. We can put them in outside thirds. So you'll see here, I can put my safety in outside third to the left or to the right. So, uh, or I could also put him in a mid read, right? So I can put him in an outside third uh, to the right, like to the to the opposite side of the field, which I think is actually uh, kind of crazy. So you see here, um, let me see if I can get this properly uh, set up here. But you see how, see I could put him in outside thirds on, on either side, right? So, you know, you could do something crazy like that. Um, obviously, we're not going to do that in this example. We're going to put them in outside thirds to their corresponding sides. So this is just going to help them kind of get more outside, um, specifically with a verticals type of concept. So you see here, here's verticals again. And this time, what you'll see is not only do I not have time to hit that fade, but it's not open. The corner is able to uh, kind of get back on the ball. And we'll show it to you one more time here. Hopefully, I have enough time to get this off. You know, but you see here, see how that guy can kind of get out there and be able to play that. So that's one reason why this is really good. But another reason why this is really good um, is, again, this is going to be kind of a Tampa 3 look uh, where we can actually leverage these 
um, this mid read zone. This mid read zone is honestly one of the more underrated zones in the game this year, uh, I, at least in my opinion. Um, now, one thing I will say, and we'll get into this in just a second, uh, a little bit more in depth, but let's say you get a concept like corner strike. Uh, so you see something that looks like this. Watch this mid read here. Um, you see that he should match that third guy, but he doesn't. So um, what we can do to kind of help this along a little bit is we can drop the linebacker into a middle third, right? So if we was if we were in a match defense, we'd want to use this guy. So I like to go ahead and drop this backside guy into a middle third. We're going to go over a different way to do the same basic thing in just a second uh, from a coverage that I think you're going to like even more. Uh, but anyways, the beauty of this is now you have this middle third that's going to take away those streaks. And then these outside thirds are going to kind of drive. They're going to basically drive on the corner routes uh, really, really, really well. Now, as I mentioned, um, this is a bend but don't break defense. Okay, so you're going to be kind of lurking in the middle of the field with this guy. Obviously, what they can, what can they, what can they hit on this, right? Well, they can high low you in the flat. It's really the main thing. So you see here, I can just throw this flat and be able to consistently get five, 10, 15 yards. So that's really the main thing that they have. So if they're going to that concept a lot, one of the things that we can do is we can drop. Um, we can actually drop this uh, nickel nickel back here. We can man him up. We can you know do a lot of things. Another thing we could do is take the nickel corner, put him in the middle third, and now we can drop a hard flat. So now we kind of have a double flat over there. And then as you see here, it's going to force him to kind of work the middle of the field. Now the last piece of this, and then we're going to go into the other coverage that I really like, is we as a user are going to want some help over the middle of the field, at least in my experience. So what I like to do is take the defensive tackle um, opposite of the running back and put him in a bluff blitz. And what you'll see here is this bluff blitz uh, will help. We'll still get good sheds. Don't worry about that because you're blitzing your user and you bluff blitz the guy that you're wanting to drop into coverage. But you'll see he'll, he'll really do a good job of kind of defending over the short middle and kind of working to the patterns, matching on little things underneath for us. And that allows us to kind of be free uh, to be able to work kind of this left side of the field, if you will, uh, depending on what they run. A lot of people this year, especially because of how powerful Big Nickel over G is, they'll probably block their running back. Like just the way the game works this year, they'll probably block the running back. You can show blitz out of this. You'll see here we get something like this, um, you know, and as you can see. You know, this plays pretty good as a base coverage. Now, again, this is a basic coverage. You can pick it up. You can play it against anybody, and it'll work fine. But I wanted to show you kind of a, a last little piece of this that I think is really valuable. So we're going to actually now come out in the cover three seam, uh, which is cover three match is the way that this coverage is going to play. And we're going to show you something I think kind of unique. So uh, we're going to kind of create the same basic coverage out of this. But we're going to do it a little bit differently and I think a little bit better for the way the game plays this year. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to essentially maximize on the fact that this hook curl right here is one of the best zones in the game. And then we also have a jam that we're going to be able to get on the right side of the screen. So all we're going to do is really leverage, again, the power of the hook curl. And then what we're going to do is we're going to outside third um, both of our safeties. So just like this, two outside thirds. And then we're going to cloud the corners. And now we have just a little bit better coverage over the middle. But the real beauty of this is let's say they go to like the verticals play. You should see here that they flow to the deeper routes a lot better um, you know, than they would otherwise. Now, another thing that you can kind of do with this is turn your zone coverage to match. You saw that I put my coverage on match there. And this will help significantly with anything coming across the formation uh, to the bunch or to the solo receiver side. So you'll see here, you know, you do something like this. And then you're, it's a very safe coverage, right? This is a very safe coverage. Uh, we have those clouds. We have those deep thirds. And then if you watch here, you'll notice that this hook curl will actually a lot of times will match that route right there. Or that guy is going to split the difference really well for us. So this is just a really good defense for, uh, honestly, for taking advantage of the fact that we have really good adjustments uh, to our safeties in this coverage. So let's say we were doing something like this. 
you know, this is a little bit of a, again, a nuanced variation of this play. Uh, but this is also really good. Like, let's say this is a popular play right now. So they'll motion this guy out, you know, like this. And this hook curl on the backside will do a really good job of kind of helping with the backside digs uh, and stuff like that. So you've got a little better middle of the field coverage. But this cloud and the outside third together uh, makes that right there a little bit harder of a throw um, than, it, than it was right there. And another thing that we could even do out of this is, again, you can kind of adjust this as you want. So, like, let's say, for example, you know, we want to do something... We can actually roll this, if you will, into something which is kind of interesting. So we could do, um, you know, like a, something something like like this right here, uh, and kind of help a little bit. So now the middle third's coming from the slot, and this is really helpful because uh, what you'll see is again that flood concept on the right. Now that middle third is in the in a little bit better of a grid to help with the with that route. And then you as a user, you can kind of help on this. But notice, you see see how that takes that pretty much takes that away by and large, especially if you click on and make a play on that guy. So by using the cover three seam or even, and I'll show you one other play that I like to use the same kind of concept out of, or you could also, um, depending on how much they're using their running back, you could come out in this cover three seam buzz. If I can find it here, cover three buzz seam. And you can kind of get at the same thing, but now the safety is the guy. So we could do a defense, like our defense could literally look like, like this. And now what this allows us to do is have even better coverage because we have that third, but we also now have an outside quarter that's rolling. And then if they're going to run their running back on a block a lot of the times, which a lot of people do in this game, you can have something like this and take a look at this outside corner. There's nowhere to go. I mean, there's just nowhere to throw it. So you can use this coverage in a lot of different ways uh, to be able to kind of get some unique adjustments. And, you know, obviously the outside quarter on the right, outside quarter on the left are really helpful for kind of bagging some of the popular concepts. And then now it's kind of a game of like, if they if they do something like this, you know, we have a lot of resources uh, to be able to devote to the running back on a wheel. Like we can go user that. Uh, a lot of times that hook curve will flat out match it anyway. But this is just a way that you can kind of again just craft some different ways to play defense. Um, you know, I think this specific play right here uh, is really really good. And if you bluff blitz this defensive tackle on the running back side. And he goes on a route, that defensive tackle will match him a lot of times. As you saw right there, he wants to go match him. And then, of course, you can help with the, your user and stuff like that. But all in all, um, I just really like the way that these, these uh, coverages play. And again, if you want to leave this guy on his purple zone, then we can, we, we can just simply run it to the right just like this. So you see how we're able to still get that kind of that little hook curl seam flat combo. But then on the right side, we can almost create like a cover three cloud type of look. And then as a user, if we see a corner route, well, we know we have a lot of help in the middle of the field. So we can just kind of go help with that. And you see how good of a defense this really is. So this is a way that you can kind of adjust and adapt a three safety defense and really take advantage i think of the power of having those two high safeties i think that madden 23 um, because it's been so blitz heavy at the start of the year being able to actually have good coverage for when people start to actually beat your blitz is really critical which is why big nickel over g i think is so powerful because it can blitz in every way that you want to but it can also be some of the most adaptable and versatile coverage defenses that you're going to find in the game thanks for watching the video again that's how to run kind of a nice little uh tampa three style coverage out of big nickel and if you want to learn uh the rest of this defense make sure you're in our patreon it's only 10 bucks to sign up and it gets you access to all of our uh, Patriot or all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates uh, to those defenses as well.